Today we're going to talk about receiving HL7 messages over TCP IP. Here's our working scenario. We have a working HL7 solution. It's a practice management system, a billing system, a lab system, whatever. And our system can consume HL7 messages that are in data files in a Windows folder. But what we need is to be able to receive HL7 messages from many different clients over an HL7 standard TCP IP MLLP connection with a listener. We're going to do this in about five minutes using our core HL7 listener product. In this video, we're going to download and install the software from our website, www.transworldscribe.com. We're going to activate the software with a demo license. We're going to test receiving HL7 messages running it locally in a window. We're going to purchase a permanent license and activate it. And we're going to install and run the MS Windows services and test receiving messages. Let's get started. We're going to start on our website, www.transworldscribe.com. Now, you will need a Hermitech account if you don't have one while you're on our website. Just scroll to the bottom and create your Hermitech account. And then we're going to go to Downloads. And what I want is the core HL7 TCP IP listener. I am going to download it. It shouldn't take but a minute. And I'm going to install it. I'm just going to click on the file. I'm going to follow the prompts and install the software. That's it. That's done. It should have put a shortcut on my desktop. There it is. I'm going to move it up to the top here so we can get to it. And now we're ready to activate the software. To activate the software is easy. Whenever you start the program for the first time, if you don't have a license, the program will start. It will tell you there's an exception. There's an invalid license. And it tells you what to do. Click the license button on the toolbar. I'm going to do this. What I want to do is activate a demo license. And I click OK. Here's where that uh, Hermitech account that I mentioned earlier comes into play. You have to have one to activate a demo license. Put in your credentials. And log in. <clears throat> this is activate a demo license. Click here and it is done. Now we've got a demo license. It's a three port license. We're ready to go. All we need to do is create a profile and test it. To create a profile I just click the new button on the toolbar and start filling in my properties. This one is for Cooper's Beach Clinic. I'm going to tell them that I want to receive their HL7 messages on port 6000. Uh, since I am the listener, I get to dictate what port I receive on. I will tell Cooper's Beach what port to send on. Most of these settings, the default settings, you can just leave. You, your trading partner will tell you if you need to change them. I need to select a data folder, which is where my system is going to pick up these messages. Let's say here. There's that Cooper's Beach folder, and when I get my per my per my professional license. I'll say I want to run it in service instance number one. I'm going to show you the advanced and optional settings. You can leave these alone unless you need them. Like I said, the defaults are, are pretty much what you want 90% of the time. I enable the profile. I click OK. There it is. And now we're ready to test it. Now in order to make sure that our listener is actually receiving messages, we need to run it. Since we have a demo license, we can't install or run the, the Windows services, so we have to do what's called running it locally. That means clicking the Run button on the toolbar, which pulls up an immediate window. I will click Start, and it's, it is done. It is listening. Now, we haven't received anything, and watching a listener run is about the most boring television show you could ever hope to see. So we need something that will actually send some messages. For that, we're going to use our ad hoc HL7 sender. This is a free product that you can get from our website. I have it already set up to go to a listener on this computer on port 6000. I've got some demo messages loaded up. 
but if you need you could you could send your own messages just click here to open the file I'm gonna start it this opens up the session and let's start sending it's done it sent 10 messages it got back 10 acknowledgments positive acknowledgments over here you can see that we've received 10 messages and this means none of them were malformed and they should be in this data folder so we will stop our listener we'll go ahead and close this and I can go to here and just click open the data folder and it'll pop it open and there they are there's the messages that I've received we've tested running it locally we'll move on to the next step getting a license activating a permanent license and running the Windows service to purchase a license you use our core HL7 license manager if you go to our website it will uh, direct you to just download this product you log into it once you're logged into your core HL7 license manager you'll be able to see all of your licenses that you own how many you have purchased how many you've activated and if you want to buy something you just go to shop now now what I'm gonna want is the core HL7 listener enterprise license because I need to receive from a bunch of different clients so I'll make sure I have core HL7 checked permanent and HL7 TCP IP listeners now I actually already own three of these but we'll just show you how you would purchase it I would click add to cart there it is if I wanted more than one I could increase or decrease the size and then I would submit my order you can put a note in you tell it who to retrieve or if you needed us to send the invoice to someone else etc so I'm going to cancel out of that I'm going to clear my cart because I don't really need to buy one because I already own three of them and I've only used one so let's activate it to activate my permanent license back in my core HL7 listener I just click on the file menu activate a permanent license I want to activate a license that I have purchased and I'm going to use online activation now I could use manual activation if this computer was not uh, connected to the internet okay put in my credentials log in and it shows me how many licenses I have I own a five port license that I could activate and I have three enterprise licenses that's the one that I want it says my license has been activated and saved and there it is I have my permanent license with unlimited ports now all I have to do is install the Windows services Service Instance 1 is now installed. It's ready to, ready to run. All I have to do is click Start. And it says that it is now running. Now we're going to test it running as a service. Now I have cleaned out the data folder. But we're going to go back to our core sender, which is still set to go to 6000. I should be able to test the connection to the listener. And it should tell me that there is a listener running on port 6000 so I know that my service is actually running and listening I should be able to start and start sending and there they are if I come back to my uh, folder there are my 10 messages in the folder waiting for my system to pick them up and that is how easy it is we've done it let me we'll do another one I'm going to set up a lot of profiles and we'll take a look at how that looks as you can see here now I've set up 10 different profiles all of them enabled they're running spread across four different primary services and this is new I've even got two that are running in private services all services installed running and listening for HL7 messages that's how easy it is to use the core HL7 TCP IP listener. Consider giving us a like and subscribe.